Hey guys, so sorry I look and sound like complete shit. I've just been crying for the past hour. Um, there's something really um, personal I guess I wanted to talk to you about. This video is going to be unedited because I can't deal with that right now and I want you guys to see my emotion and everything that's going on. So, um, for the past... I don't know, few months, I've really wanted to get my hair cut, um, it was like before I got this haircut and everything, I wanted to get a pixie cut or just like a really short haircut, I didn't have all my hair, um, and I never got that because I am too scared of not being approved by everyone else. Um, now, if you know me in real life, or we've talked before, or whatever, um, you may see that I'm a really outgoing type person, um, that, that's just, seems independent, and seems like they don't need other people's approval. But, that's not true. I live by what others think of me. And I live by the approval of other people. And I don't know how I'm going to get past that. Um, so, I haven't got my hair cut. Um, I completely, my all the clothes I wear... So, uh, uh, things that I myself would not want to wear um, but they're what society say I should wear um, so like I don't know um, I went shopping with my mum and Nan I bought skirts and I bought colour and I just bought really feminine girly things um, but that's not me um, yeah, I do identify as a girl, but I identify as a, I don't know, I, I, I still identify as a female. I'm not saying that, like, just because I don't like girly things doesn't mean I might try to identify as a guy. Um, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that no matter how, like, how freaking outgoing you think someone is no matter how much you think they are independent and they can think for themselves and they don't think of what other else other of what other people think it's not true because some people it might be and I applaud them for being able to not live up to society's standards <laughs> but for me, it's hard. I'm scared that if I change what I look like, change who I am, people won't accept me. I act mean to people because I don't want them to see my insecurity and I don't want them to see how vulnerable I am to society um and so that's how I act I put that into the way I look I've recently stopped wearing makeup and stuff at the start of the year um at the start of 2016 it's 2017 now at the start of 2016 I stopped wearing makeup oh wait no at the start of 2016 I was wearing makeup um, mid-2016, mid to late 2016, I stopped because I, that was, I thought that was one step closer to not caring what people thought. But, I had to stop at that one step. Because if I changed my look, if I changed the way I act, I'd be scared people would disabandon me and I'd be left alone. 
like I was for a long while in my life. Um, and I don't know. I know what I'm trying to say. I thought I would just vent because I feel like I can't talk to anyone about this. But now I'm talking to a bunch of people. Oh, I don't know what else to say. Um, but yeah, if you ever, if you ever meet anyone who you think is like really confident and doesn't care what other people think, don't judge them and don't don't mislead them. Am I? Don't misjudge them. That's the word I was looking for. And think that that's who they are because sometimes people aren't like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, you can give it a thumbs up if you want. I don't, I don't really care. If I give it a thumbs down because you hate seeing people sad. I don't know, me too. <laughs> um, but yeah.